Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. I am so beyond excited. The Boys Season 4 has its first official trailer. Um, It's a minute and 49 seconds. I'm not going to lie. It's a little shorter than I would have hoped for. But that being said, it is The Boys. So this could be jam-packed. There could be so much going on in this and it could be absolutely epic. I have no idea what to expect. I've been looking forward to this the entire day. And um, I want to give a quick disclaimer before I get into my uh, reaction for it. Um, I could not sleep last night, so I just straight up did it. So I have not slept in like almost 40 something hours. So if I am very like over the top in this reaction, that's why. If I'm very uh, underwhelming in this reaction, that's also why. It honestly depends on what's happening in this trailer. But that being said, let's dive right into it. Okay, starting off with a picture of Homelander. <coughs> Rome. Has fallen Greece. in a day. No, it was built in a day. Is that what it said? Okay, no, they're talking about something else. All democracies fail. Dun, dun, dun. Because people are fucking stupid. Are they suggesting a dictatorship? Homelander for president confirmed? But if you crush the masses. Oh god, is that actually we'll something that's happening? Who we'll tons it taint? I'm so concerned about what's happening uh, in this. The people will. Ooh, they look pissed. Apart I themselves. love it. Themselves. You just gotta nudge them a little. Riots. Beautiful. Then you get to swoop in. Oh, you God. Saving it. Oh, God. Like Caesar. No. Like Caesar. Oh. Don't hurry. Okay, I'm assuming these are new members of the boys. Interesting. Snake mouths. That's terrifying. I don't like that. Oh, hell. Oh my god, that's watch their Also, Noor. I will go late to that, but Noor? What is that? Your team. What's your code name again? The Boys. Oof. The Boys. Who came up what with that mean? shit? John Hamm? That's not John Hamm. Crap, that's, that's Negan? Something like that? That's the guy from, uh... I got so excited thinking it's John Hamm. I mix those two actors up all the time. He killed somebody that he's very happy to have killed. Or he just slaughtered a whole group of people. Either way... Wow. Okay, so it was a very quick trailer. Didn't give us a whole lot. Um, I always mix up John Hamm and the actor from the uh, Walking Dead series. I don't remember the name of this actor. I think he plays a character named like Negan or something like that. I have not seen The Walking Dead, but his character has like some of the like funniest memes ever, and I love it. Um... We're running really low on everything. We're practically starving here. Starving. You. By practically, you mean not really. Um, he's a great actor. All of the scenes that I've seen him in that are like more serious, he's he's pretty great. And um, I think that his comedic timing can work really well on a show like this. And his interactions with uh, Carl Urban as. Billy Butcher can be incredible. I am incredibly looking forward to that. That's fantastic. Um, there is so much like characters that are very glimpsed through in this. I love that we're going to be seeing a whole lot of different powers. I think that that's something that this universe has done pretty much the best with out of like Marvel, DC, any, any universe. They have the best, like most unique powers. This guy splitting in half, those graphics are incredible. It does kind of remind me of um loki time slipping and loki season two that being said it's like it's more like slime like that is so interesting to me god that is cool um the person with the snake mouths it is very interesting and original but also all i can think about is the villain from the second uh i think it's the second and the third pirates of the caribbean movie uh i can't remember his name but you know guy with the octopus beard um very interesting there is so much happening here. I'm incredibly excited for it. Um, I think that the rioting and the people being split halfway is actually like... The Boys has done such a great job of commentating on things that are happening in real life. And I think that in the last couple of years, politi political debates between like presidents have gotten really, really out of hand and have gotten really out of pocket, especially around like election time. So I feel like this show is going to do a really good job being a political commentary on how divided we are as a country in America right now because America is kind of more divided than it's ever been ever and uh it's not really as apparent right now or like it hasn't been for the last like year or so but like come election day not election day but like next year there's going to be an election it's going to be back to being pretty split between like 
there's this group of people, there's this group of people, and um, they will never see eye to eye. And it's something that is really concerning to me because um, politics is not something I get super into or whatever but like that. But there are people who like their entire life is what their political beliefs are and they will not uh, interact with people who disagree with them. They will be absolutely just dicks to people who disagree with them and um, it is a little scary how much people can be influenced by certain polit political figures and uh i think that uh this is going to be a great meta commentary i think that people are going to be kind of like worshiping uh homelander in a way that he probably shouldn't be worshipped and i feel like the people who are defending starlight are people who are going to be kind of not really sure that they're probably going to be like I don't want to like hit it exactly on the nose in case that's not what they're doing at all but it definitely 100% seems like they're kind of going for like the people who are like anybody is better than Homelander and that's the side that Starlight is because I don't necessarily think that they made Starlight out to be like this great amazing political not political but like superhero that like everybody would be like yeah we love Starlight she's the absolute best but like also um I, I don't I don't know. I'm very intrigued to see where this show goes. I will say the only major problem that I had with uh, season three and kind of like so towards the end of where it left us off with um, Homelander after uh, what's called Starlight kind of like started going off about the seven and was like, oh my God, here's all this like uh, terrible stuff or whatever. After Starlight did that, Homelander went out and was kind of like, Ah, uh, Starlight actually doesn't know what she's talking about. She's actually psychopath. She's insane. She's doing, like, all these crazy things. And, like, not to be that guy, but Homelander, earlier in that season, was also trying to, like, convince, you know, the entire world that Starlight and him had a thing. So now Homelander has dated somebody who's been confirmed to be an actual Nazi, and now somebody who he's saying is, like, clinically insane. And not to be that guy... I think that's a terrible look for Homelander. Um, obviously, you know, he's a villain, so people aren't going to care. But I think it's, like, something that a lot of people don't really look at. Because, like, they don't really talk about the ratings as much right now in the show. But I feel like that's, like, a really huge thing that, like, I feel like his ratings would go down with the fact that he's dated a Nazi and then somebody who he's claiming is, like, almost as bad as a Nazi. You know what I mean? But that being said... Other than that, this show has been incredible. That's, like, literally one of the only nitpicks I have. Um, I watched all three of the seasons recently, like, back in September. So, like, all of the boys is, like, fresh on my mind right now. And I genuinely think it is one of the best shows on television. Obviously, I haven't seen a whole lot of shows. I'm more of a movie guy. But I'm also mostly superhero guy. So, like, the boys absolutely watched it, loved it. Gen V was great. I loved it. Um, I'm r really interested to see if any of the plot lines from Gen V kind of carry over, carry over. Um, I'm going to make a video tomorrow talking about what I'm expecting from The Boys Season 4 and any, like, uh, what's it called, connections that might potentially come up. But um, as of right now, it seems like they're kind of going to let it be its own thing, which I like. And um, I also appreciate the fact that, like, a lot of people online have been saying, like, oh, I think that Sam, is, Sam and uh, what's it called, Kate, are going to be a part of The Seven or whatever. And I was like... At the end of the show, they literally were like, these are the new Guardians of Godolkin. So I feel like they're just going to say, like, their own superhero group and be the Guardians of Godolkin. It doesn't make sense necessarily for them to join the Seven. But, uh, yeah, I am incredibly excited for the show. I think that there's a lot of really great things. Um, I want to apologize that my only interesting reaction was me yelling out of excitement the wrong actor's name. That's kind of embarrassing. But like I said, I'm very sleep-deprived, okay? And I think I did immediately correct it. And in my defense... When I yelled John Hamm, I was looking at this shot, which is just his side profile, which looks even more like John Hamm to me, okay? But yeah, that being said, that was it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming by, checking it out. I love and appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe. I will be doing a trailer reaction for the movie, not the movie, the show Fallout, or is it a movie? I don't even know what it is. The Prime show movie whatever's coming out called fallout um i've seen a lot of people all over twitter are talking about that trailer saying that it was pretty cool so i'm gonna watch that one next and that video should be out in a couple of hours but yeah boys season four looks like it should be pretty good obviously we haven't gotten a lot out of it but i mean it's the boys amazon's killing it but yeah peace out bow 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 he wanted me to come, but first I did this. We planned a day, then we did this. We want to be in love with the girls with the kisses. Don't give a damn, I'll rid this. I like this when I run the distance. I run the five kids for Melissa's. 
I want to live within the business. Buy more than what's on the clearances. You're getting big because I know you're a physicist. I want to deny this shit. I'm unlimited.